Do you have an agent that you talk these things through with, or is these all Louise decisions? Well, they're my, they're my decisions, right. I have to, to say, but um, yeah, I talk about these things for sure. I think it's important that they know how I'm feeling, and yeah. I mean, I have no qualms. I, I have no uh, delusion. Uh, I, I am known in the musical theater in Canada, for sure. I think I've gone about as far as I can. But I'm not, you know, there are levels of stardom and stuff. I mean, I am not a big star. And I don't, uh, even though I've done some stuff, I've won some awards, absolutely. But some, I have no qualms. Some, the list is this long. Well. Some. But, you know, come on. I still will go, okay, this person is doing this show. I don't know this person. Yes, I will go in and have a session with that person. I, I have no problems with that. What I have a problem with is saying, you know, call me in for the first round of auditions for the casting people for a musical. I mean, come on. Come on. That's f***ing Canadian. And never in the States would they do that. Really? No, they would not. And I think... That was a shocking thing to me. How amazing they were at auditions. I went to meet some creative teams. I had auditions, meetings, whatever, this is while in I was New there. New York and Pittsburgh? In and New York. In New York. And I, I, I was like moved by their, uh, their, their graciousness. Their, they were so thankful and appreciative that you would come in and that you had come in and that you had learned a song that you had looked at the scene and they could not have been more aware of what it takes to get ready for an audition like that because and you were on a broadway or just because you because were a they knew who i was and da 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 right. and they were asking would i come in and maybe read for this this role or something and you would go in and it's Holy jeez, just treating you with such respect and appreciation. And I have to say, I, I don't, as a rule, say that I can find that here. As Why? Much. What's going on that we, we don't do that? I mean, here up to a certain point, it's like, oh yes, you are who you are, but who do you think you are? <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's almost like we... We don't want other people to do well or something. You don't want somebody to be doing better than you. What is that? There's room for so many people to do well. I, see, I, I clued into that a long time ago, too. I used to resent whoever got the role if I didn't get it. But that's so stupid. That means that later I'm going to actually end up doing something else, that other thing that I didn't know about at the time. But come on. There's room for all of us, you know? Jeez. And the more we have good people, the better the work will be. But that feeling comes from an interior confidence in you, Louise. Mm -hmm. That comes from a core of confidence. I mean, the conversation's been nothing about a confidence that seems to be in your core about this, about meaning, about passion, about whatever, whatever. And that's in your confidence about equality as well in the restaurant. And that's in your confidence. Say, the more the merrier, as opposed to the more b other people that are great out there, more I am threatened. Yeah. That's where that comes yeah, from. Yeah, it's so unhealthy. But and we all go there instinctively because we want that job. We want that role. Yeah. And you're so devastated when you don't get it. 